So I am now in the United Nations headquarters in New York. There is a very interesting exhibition on the 70th anniversary of the United Nations in 2015. So I'm going to show you a few photographs and I will basically summarize what, uh, what they say about the history of the UN. So the construction started uh, in uh, 1947 and it was a group of architects. This was one of the first sketches. It's basically very similar to what it, how it looks today. Uh, only the, the members of the United Nations at that time could uh, submit the architects. That's why several architects from, from Finland or from Germany were not accepted. This is the Board of Design. I mean, the big names here are, uh, of course, Le Corbusier, Oscar Niemeyer, um, the the final design was basically a combination of Le Corbusier and Niemeyer's uh, design. So they were basically trying to find where can when the UN can be, right? Um, so in 1946, they decided that it will be the United Nations and they were considering San Francisco, Philadelphia, Boston. So in New York, they considered Flushing Meadows. In the end, they decided for Midtown Manhattan. And the interesting thing, that it was the Rockefeller family who paid $8.5 million to buy the parcel to, for, the United, for the United Nations. So the, these architects, these guys, they met 45 times and reviewed 75 proposals and they've chosen something like this. So this is what Niemeyer uh, proposed. You see that there is a the big structure, there is another second building and the, the uh, conference center is to the left. Le Corbusier, he proposed something similar but different. The difference is the, here is the, the conference center, the general assembly. And in the end, this is sort of like the final, the final proposal. So this is uh, how they constructed it. Um, so basically they decided to have all glass curtain walls. So it looked like an ice palace. The idea was that it would be in contrast to the brick uh, exteriors of, of the other of the other skyscrapers. So, so it's full of basically the, the skyscraper is made of glass from the outside. It's very interesting. So here are some pictures from the from the construction. Here it's just like so basically this side of the UN is concrete, but the, the, these sides are made of glass. This is all previous skyscrapers. The building has about, what, like 38 floors, I think. This is how it looked before. And this is the glass structure from the outside. Basically, this is how it looks. Nothing has changed since then. 